Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung M8 4K Smart Monitor with streaming TV and slim fit camera included. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 700 bucks. I repeat, 700 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this one comes in four different colors. You got white, blue, green, and pink. For the display, you got a 32 inch 4K flat panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Now you got HDR 10 plus and a 60 hertz refresh rate. Now it's powered by Tizen OS with Windows 10. Now you got voice command for Amazon, Google, and Bixby. Now the monitor features auto source switch, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Now you got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Apple AirPlay, and Samsung Dex. Now it's compatible with Samsung SmartThings. It comes with a removable video camera. On the back, you got two USB type C slots and a micro HDMI port. Now it comes with a remote control. The monitor is 14 pounds and the height is adjustable. All of that for 700 bucks. Now I know what some of y'all getting ready to say. 700 bucks, that's a lot for just a monitor. But check this out. This isn't just a monitor. This is a 4K smart monitor, okay? So what does that mean, 4K smart monitor? Basically, you can do a lot of things right from this monitor. And let's talk about a few of those. Number one, this is a 4K monitor. So you can use screencasts from your laptop, Apple AirPlay or Samsung Dex from your phone, watch all your content in 4K. So basically, you could use it as a monitor. You can also use an HDMI cable and connect it to your favorite gaming console, like a PlayStation or an Xbox, and game on a 4K monitor. But wait, there's more. Now this monitor has Samsung TV Plus built in. So Samsung TV Plus is gonna give you free content. I, I repeat, free content, no hidden fees, no subscription services, you got TVs, you got movies, uh, TV shows, you got movies, you got news shows, you got sports, all of that built in for free. All right, that's Samsung TV Plus. Now, you also got all your streaming services. So you got HBO Max, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, all of your streaming services you can watch directly from this monitor with no other devices. Now, it also has a video camera. So you can do your voice calls. And if you work at home, you can download certain apps and use the video camera to train at home. Now you also have gaming mode. You can game directly from this monitor without having a gaming console. I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, gaming mode. But one of the best parts about this monitor is it has a PC built in. Okay, so you can access the internet, all of your favorite websites directly from the monitor without using your phone, without connecting it to a laptop. This has a PC built directly into it. Now you can use the uh, remote control if you want, or you can connect a uh, mouse and a keyboard and get the full PC experience. This is pretty dope, okay? Now I'm gonna dim the lights and I'll show you how some of this stuff works. All right, so let's go through some of the basic stuff. Here's the remote control. Now, one of the things that I love about this remote control, no batteries, plugs in USB type C. Okay, now this is a basic remote. So you got your power button, you got your voice search, you got volume up and down, you got home, play and pause, you got back, and you got four hotkeys. So you got Netflix, Samsung TV Plus, you got Disney Plus, and Amazon. Now here's a look at the video camera, and one of the things that I like about it, it's fully detachable, so when you're not using it, pop it right off. When you're ready to use it, slaps right on the back with a USB Type-C. Now for this part of the video, I'm gonna be using a remote control to do everything. Okay, so first, let's take it over to the search tab. Now, this is how you're gonna search the monitor for specific content. So let's pick uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Here you go. Okay, so now check this out. <laughs> we got all the SpongeBob content that the TV picked up. So we got movies, we got TV shows, and we got games. Okay, so that's how the search tab works. 
Now you can also use hands-free voice search. Alexa, what's the weather for tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Look for some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 88 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 74 degrees. Now you can use the mic on the remote. What's the weather for Saturday? Here's the forecast for Saturday, July 16th. Look for intermittent clouds with a high of 87 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 72 degrees. All right, so now let's go to the workspace tab. Now, as you can see, I already connected to two other laptops and two other phones using Samsung Dex. But you can connect a Windows PC, you can connect a Mac, you got Samsung Dex, you got Apple AirPlay, and I got some web services. So I got Microsoft 365 and a couple of bookmarks, Amazon and Google. Now I wanna show you something real quick. You see that laptop right here? Now I'm doing some editing. This is my official work laptop. I'm gonna connect this monitor. Okay, so all I gotta do, connect over to the screen and check this out. Now I can edit my videos using this monitor, okay? And I can also use a mouse, which I got connected, to control both laptops at the same time. So I control the laptop and the monitor. So if we exit out of this, there it is. Now when I'm ready to disconnect, all I have to do is hit disconnect. And there it is. Now I wanna show you how Samsung Dex looks. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Galaxy and we'll go to Samsung Dex and we hit connect. And just like that. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung Dex, you can use the phone as a touchpad. Okay, I'm gonna open up an app real quick. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Google. As a matter of fact, let's go to internet. Okay, I'm using my phone trackpad and I'm on the internet. Okay, this is pretty dope. Now I'm gonna exit out of this. Now you can use all your phone services. So say I wanna check my text messages. Let's go to apps. Let's go to messages. And this is all of my phone's text messages. So that's Samsung Dex. Now let me show you the same thing, but I'm gonna use Apple AirPlay. Okay, so we'll swipe down. M8 Smart Monitor. Enter the code. And there it is. Let's hit exit. Now I'm using um, Apple AirPlay at the same time. Now if I wanna go full screen, I just grab the remote control. Okay, let's go to full screen. And there it is. Now I also have some bookmarks from my workspace. So I got Amazon and Google. Let's just take it over to Amazon real quick. I'm using the remote control. And this is right from the PC. So now I could go shopping on Amazon. Let's check out a product real quick. Just like that. All right, so now let's check out game mode. Now you got all your accessories. So I got a controller. Okay, wireless controller already connected. You can change your audio. So I'm using the system audio, but if you want to, you can connect the Bluetooth speaker and you can also have a music player. Now you got Xbox, Stadia, Nvidia GeForce. You got all your popular games. Okay, bunch of Xbox games, Stadia games, videos, okay different genres, family friendly, okay, popular, survival, editor's choice, a bunch of different games to choose from. Now here's the thing, we wanna play a game right now, right from the monitor, okay? So we're not gonna connect any gaming consoles, we're gonna use Xbox app right on the monitor. So let's see how this works. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, so now that I'm signed in, let's try a little Killer Instinct. Okay, here we go. Now this is right from the monitor. Now I'm a little bit rusty, so bear with me, y'all. But check this out, I'm gaming right from the monitor. All right, let's go. Let's go. Stop it. All right, here we go, yeah. Got it. Let's go. Uh-oh. Stop it. Okay, okay, here we go, yeah. I call that the floor special. Woo, let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But y'all see how it's running nice and smooth. Let me get fancy. Got it. Let's go. Uh oh. Okay, let's go. Oh, she's trying to get, she's trying to get busy now. Let's go. Ice cold. <laughs> this is so sick, yo. All right, so you see, I'm gaming right from the monitor. This is pretty dope. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now that we're still in game mode, let's try a PlayStation 5. So I hit the button. You see it shows PlayStation 5 on the bottom. Hit connect. Just like that. Now, it does have auto source switch. So as soon as I plugged in the HDMI cable, it automatically detected the PlayStation 5. So let's try a little Street Fighter. All right, here we go. Now, 32 inch monitor, this is perfect for gaming. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, I still got it. I still got it. Good. This looks so beautiful. Okay, here we go. You out of here. <laughs> anyway. So this is how your PlayStation is gonna look on the Samsung M8. Perfect. All right, so now let's go to the media tab. This is where you're gonna find all your apps and your streaming services. So you do have an app store. Okay, so you got your editor's choice. 
Here's some of the apps I already got installed. Apple TV, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, YouTube TV, Spectrum TV, Peacock, Paramount Plus. You name it, they got it. Okay? Now, let's go to some of the different uh, apps that I already got installed. First, we got the internet. So let's go over to the internet. Now, if you notice, I was watching the YouTube video and I got a keyboard plugged in with a mouse. Okay, so I'm gonna use the mouse to play on the video. And this is how it looks. Okay, I can pause that. Let's open up a new window. Okay, open up a new window. And this is basically using the internet from your monitor without anything else connected. Now, of course, it's not gonna be the fastest connection, but it works. Let's try, um, let's go to Amazon. And there it is. Now, again, I do have the keyboard connected. So we can type in, let's do, uh, let's get a little search Samsung. Okay. Now again, when you're using the monitor as a PC, it's not the fastest in the world, but it works. It works. Now, if you gotta do work, use mirror share and get uh, connected to a laptop and you get better performance. But this is basically using the monitor as a PC. Now I'm doing this in real time so you can see how it looks. Okay, so we're pulling up a website. Let's let everything load up. And there it is. Now we got some Samsung phones popping up. Just like that. All right, so let's exit out of this. Okay, so now let's try some of the different streaming services. You got YouTube. Let's take it over to YouTube. Now this is the YouTube streaming service, okay? Now this is a lot faster, okay? <laughs> let's, go, let's, go to, um, let's go to search, okay? Now this is the video I was just watching. There it is. Now you hear the speakers for yourself, nice and loud. Beautiful display. Okay, exit out of that. All my YouTube videos. Let's go back home. Now, this is the rest of the streaming services that I have. No need for me to go through all of them, but I'll show you something real quick. Let's take a look at Netflix. Okay. Now, here's my Netflix, all of my programs. And I can just click on this and watch in 4K. Now, I wanna show y'all one more thing. Samsung TV Plus. This is free. I repeat, free content. Okay, so you got a bunch of different TV shows. You got news, sports, dramas, whatever you want for free. So let's click on TV Plus. Okay, now you see I was watching Kitchen Nightmares. Let's go to the guide real quick. Now check this out. You got breaking news. All right, these are all free. You got the Weather Channel, CNN. Now here's my recently watched, so I was watching Court TV. You got Nick, got the movie channel, got Samsung Wildlife. You got popular movies. Okay, you got some real movies. You got The Arrival, okay, Alone in the Dark. Okay, you can browse more. You got movies, TV shows, okay, critically acclaimed, action packed, okay. Staff favorites. For the family, you got crime movies, okay? Most popular live channels. Now these are live channels. The key word here is free. So say I wanna watch some Nick Cannon Wild and Out for free. Let's just click on that. 
Look at this. No strings attached. Okay? This is for free. Let's find something else. Let's see if anything else is on. Let's go to... Um, matter of fact, let's watch a little Kitchen Nightmares. Okay? And here it is. Now I turn the volume down, but you're watching your content for free. How dope is that? All right, so that's pretty much it for the media tab. Now I want to show you some of the, uh, let's go to some of the settings real quick. Okay, so I got this on Wi-Fi. You got intelligent mode. For picture mode, you got dynamic or standard movie or filmmaker. Now dynamic is going to give you the brightest look. But if you want to, you could go to picture setup. You could change the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness, the color, the tint. Go crazy. Okay? Now you got sound mode. You can use the volume from the monitor, or if you want to, you could connect a Bluetooth speaker. So this is what I usually do for sound output. I usually go to Sound6 Wireless. That's my um, computer speakers, and connect like that. Okay? Bluetooth speakers. I could connect right here on the spot. Serving that, it's on the charge. There it is. Now I connect it to my Soundstick wireless. So this way I get better sound. Okay. <laughs> Let me turn this down. <laughs> okay. You got uh, game mode. You got live captions. You got a sleep timer. Now for your color tone, you got standard or cool. Okay, you got your picture clarity. You can put it on auto or custom. I like to leave it on auto. Okay, you got your uh, digital output and your power and energy. That's pretty much it. So overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Samsung M8 4K Smart Monitor a major, major, major go. Is this worth 700 bucks? The answer is yes. Watch all of your content in 4K. Stream all of your services, Connect to all of your laptops and all of your phones, do all of your work, has a PC built in, and when you connect this for gaming, it's gonna look so beautiful gaming on a 4K monitor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a triple major go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding that at Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangs is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat was allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Dude. Fuck one to be him up. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the Facebook. Because if you don't, 
we're gonna have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.